Alright guys, today we're gonna watch the best fast food Jolly Bean Jolly Bee versus McDonald's because I'm hungry. So why not watch Jolly Bee versus McDonald's, right? That could be a fun thing to watch. Poor George is probably hungry too. Strictly Dumpling. Strictly Dumpling is an awesome YouTube channel that makes great uh videos. Oh my god, that's Jolly Bee. Like, the McDonald's chick is in a desert right now. Oh hey guys, last time after I left the Philippines, I got a bunch of messages. Some oh. asking why I didn't try the McDonald's. Guys, it's, it's McDonald's in the Philippines. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's why I was here. And others asking me, how come I didn't try Jollibee when I was here? So I just want to apologize for that and let's go fix these food regrets, shall we? <laughs> That looks so good. That looks What's so a good. shake shake fry? <laughs> okay, shake shake my fry. As always, I got all the items on the menu that seem really interesting and unique to me. Um, and this is what I came up with. So the items that really sets McDonald's in the Philippines apart is fried chicken and spaghetti. Also, they have Shake Shake fries. Oh my God, it looks so good. Where you take the fries, put them in this Shake Shake fries bag, like so, and you add the seasoning, which I got honey butter. Uh, watch out for the honey butter fallout. Take your bag. Whew. Not too shabby. A little sweet, a little buttery. I think that was an improvement on our fries. This is Milo McFlurry. Oh my god, I want Southeast that. Asians love Milo. So it's really a little surprising seeing this here. I want that. What is that? Again, can't really fault this. Oh my mm. god. I love Milo. I love McDonald's ice cream. So it's basically chocolate powdered ice cream with crunchy choco puffs. Those are all good things on their own. No reason why they wouldn't work together. Chicken McDough. Give in to the craving. Our best tasting chicken McDough. Ah, drumstick and some pasta with cheese. They only have three different cuts of meat. They have drumsticks, they have thighs, and they have wings. So I got a drumstick and I got a thigh. It's juicy. Oh my god, it looks so good. Crunchy skim. Crunchy batter. Oh my goodness. Juicy, flavorful meat. This okay. chicken will give KFC a run for his money. I swear, just from the taste, I, I want to stake the golden arch for the kernel. Also, what's unique here is the spaghetti, and it looks like marinara sauce and little bits of hot dog chopped in here. And I was told this is a very popular thing here in the Philippines. So let's try a bite. I get a little piece of the hot dog, some of the spaghetti. It's a bit sweet, basically exactly what you'll find in a cafeteria in a middle school. And also it has a peppery flavor to it. There's a lot of peppers in here. The little bitty uh, hot dog thing. Yeah, I think it was just like a little chopped up sausage or a little hot dog. Do you guys remember, those of you who went to school in the US, like in your elementary school or middle school, they would always serve this like spaghetti with meat sauce. It tastes like a sweeter version of that. It's definitely more sugary, but again, in a very familiar, nostalgic, good way. I don't hate it. Also, there's a couple of these things. This is a piece of um, what they call, I think, mushroom covered steak um, oh and a sauce covered chicken. This is just a sausage patty covered in gravy. Now I Very want McDonald's. Feeling. The gravy is not bad. The steak itself, a little too crumbly for me. The gravy's a little peppery, definitely taste the mushrooms. I actually think this will be pretty good dipping sauce for the fries. That's not bad. Good dipping sauce for the fries. And then there's this chicken patty covered in some sort of sauce. This one's quite enjoyable. I mean, also, you're supposed to eat these things with rice. I really never can get used to eating rice at McDonald's. You know what? Sauce is buttery. There's a bit of a chai flavor to it. It's creamy. Um, the chicken, not half bad. The rice is actually not bad either. McDonald's definitely got the rice game down here. And for a dollar, I'd much rather have this than a chicken sandwich back home. I mean, this is a pretty big filet of chicken. I mean, they give you a lot of rice. So the flavor's good, and in terms of value, you can't beat that. Put a little hot oil on this, and this chicken could really fly. They give you extra gravy for the rice as well. 
Both of the gravies actually go pretty well with the rice. Only thing I really didn't like was the sausage patty itself. And I feel like the, the spaghetti, that's a love it or hate it item. That's what I gotta say, McDonald's makes a mean piece of chicken. The spaghetti, again, I, I don't hate it, but it's definitely a little too sweet for me. If I didn't have the chicken to kind of eat between bites of spaghetti, I, I couldn't finish this. This thing is so sweet, it should almost be on a McFlurry cup. But overall, I think the chicken is really solid. The chicken filet with gravy over rice, it tastes good and it's a great deal. And the Shake Shake fries, definitely an upgrade. And this is definitely a guilty pleasure. McDonald's all right, I'm gonna finish this. Let's go see what Jollibee's all about. This is crazy. This Jollibee location I'm trying to go to is 36 minutes if I walk and 38 minutes if I drive. New York City traffic has nothing on the city. All right, I really didn't feel like waiting in traffic for 40 minutes, so I'm gonna table the Jollibee meal to another day. Now I'm back at the hotel. I'm gonna hit the gym, try to burn off everything I ate at McDonald's. That'll just take me about six or seven hours. See you later. One day later. Last night I was at a McDonald's. This morning I am at the Filipino McDonald's <laughs> Jollibee. Yeah, that little cute guy right there. That's a very it would have been really, really like if he would have ate all of that food after he ate all of the McDonald's, that would have been awful for him. So I'm happy that he took a day to wait. This guy is amazing, though. I can't believe he ate it. He, he literally finished all the food. That is so, so, so awesome. He just he just finished it all. Now we're going to check out his his version of Jollibee. One of my viewers were doing this live asked if I'm wearing the full Captain Marvel outfit. Yes. Yes, I am. Happy Bee. This is by far the most popular fast food chain in the Philippines and a place everyone told me I have to try when I'm here. Uh, first impression, everything looks really, really, really good. I got a bunch of stuff to try. I got some burgers, some hot dogs, some spaghetti, some fried chicken, some corned beef, there's soft boiled eggs, there's garlic rice. Everything smells so incredibly good. This is the beef tapa, which is a really popular Filipino dish. It's made with a sliced sirloin and it has garlic, soy sauce, calamansi, which is one of my favorite Filipino ingredients. This is a saucy dish. I can smell the garlic from here. I have a feeling I'm gonna love the heck out of this. It's served with a soft boiled egg. Well, not exactly soft boiled, <laughs> but it still looks good. And of course, scrumptious garlic rice. This is one of the greatest things ever good. created in the food world in this country. This is a necessity. Hot dog, thank you. Shall we hot dog? I oh, want okay, that's cheesy dog. I feel like this country, this is my personal opinion, is obsessed with the hot dog. You find this everywhere at restaurants, at fast food places, hot dog, and, and the spaghetti. Everywhere. This is the corned beef. It's a very popular breakfast item here, and I absolutely adore corned beef. Oh, I've been dying to try this dish out. A little beef tapa, some garlic rice. This is one of the greatest things I've ever had in a fast food restaurant. I swear, this is so, so incredibly good. I, I am shocked. Thing. I could just walk into a fast food place, pay like $3 and, and get this. Oh my God. I'm sure this dish is much better at a regular restaurant, but for a fast food place, this is a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna wow. take a bite with the eggs and the beef and some of the garlic rice. This, the beef, deep umami flavor. The calamansi, by adding that hint of citrus, highlights the deep umami flavor of this dish. You can taste the fragrant garlic. The beef is not the most tender thing, but it is one of the most flavorful things. That paired with the garlic rice, it compounds the aromatic garlic flavor. And the egg, sure, it's not, it's cooked well. You can tell it's a fresh egg. And what's incredible is that the egg actually balances out the flavor because between the beef and the rice, this part, this part is almost too flavorful. It's almost too good. And the egg with its subtle creaminess just levels everything off just a tad. That looks good. It gets you ready for your next bite. I am really, really impressed by this dish. So impressed. And I'm just getting started. This is the flag of my life right here. I should just like pin that on myself. So Jolly Bee, just like McDonald's, offers fried chicken. All right, this piece is not the hottest piece. I don't think it just came out of the fryer, but it's a spicy fried chicken. All right, this definitely came out of the fryer a long time ago. <laughs> This is an amazing piece of chicken. It's not as juicy anymore because, like I said, it came out of fire a while ago. But it's doing everything. I want a spicy piece of fried chicken to do to me. Here's me on the outside. It's flavorful and it's lighting my mouth on fire. This is not a boring. Let me just let me just repeat what he said. It's doing everything I would want a piece of spicy fried chicken to do to me. He's a typical piece of chicken. This is a chicken you would crown the homecoming king. Mm. This oh god, I wish I had a piece of chicken on the fry. I would just be off. Oh awful. my god, this is the chicken that you would have crowned the homecoming king. Never. That's like the best compliment you could give a chicken, I think. Look, this blows McDonald's fried chicken so far out of the water. Like, the McDonald's chicken is in the desert right now. Wow. Jolly Bee also has like a mushroom steak with gravy. Gravy is like a big thing in these fast food restaurants in the Philippines. I think these are for the fries. Loving this gravy. Really peppery and beefy. I don't know if this is for the fries or not, but you could dip anything in here. It'll come out tasting great. Wow. Mm. I think this over rice would be amazing as well. I want some of that. All right. Here's a burger. I don't know what McDonald's burger tastes like. I wanted to try a Jolly Bee burger. Simple burger. 
patty. Ooh, jeez, what is this, mayonnaise inside, I think? It's not a bad patty. It's just like the McDonald's spaghetti. It tastes like, like one of those uh, hamburger patties I used to eat in elementary school or middle school. It's good, it's got a nice chew. I like the beef flavor. And it's just sort of a sweet mayo on top of it, which is a common thing to a lot of Filipino dishes. There's a little sweetness. I think I would be much happier if it was uh, just a bit of mayonnaise and some ketchup on here. This is almost the exact identical item here at Jolly Bee in the spaghetti dish at McDonald's. Um, I'm assuming this is gonna be a sweet spaghetti dish. And of course, a little miniature chopped up hot dog. The sauce here is a little thicker um, than the McDonald's. The hot dog is pretty much the same. I think the sweetness is probably on the same level. Um, I do like the texture of the sauce a little better here. It's, it's a little more thick and gooey. But again, just like what I said at McDonald's spaghetti, it's not a bad tasting dish, but it's one of those dishes where I had it once, I'm good. Oh, it's also a little spicy. This is just a regular hot dog. I'm pretty sure this is the same hot dog they chop up and put into the spaghetti. This. Oh, so good. I mean, it's not a snappy hot dog. The flavor is not all that aggressive, but it's got such a good mouthfeel to it. And it's one of those food items that it gets better as you chew. My favorite food, everything here. From the sauce, there's a little mustard in there, a little ketchup. Definitely a ton of cheese. Nothing overpowers one another. This, this is the epitome of food harmony. So fresh. I uh, totally forgot about the corned beef. Corned beef is one of my all-time favorite breakfast foods. Corned beef and hash, after the first time I had it, got that almost every single day for a month. Mm. Great beefy flavor, very salty. That's corned beef strippy. You can taste a nice amount of fat in here as well. I mean, most likely this corned beef, it, it came from a can, but it doesn't make this any less of a good dish. I still like the beef tapa a lot better, but this is a classic. So far my jelly bean experience, beyond all my expectations. I mean, no wonder why people love the heck out of this place, and no wonder that bee is always jolly. I mean, if I had this much good food, I'd be jolly too every single day. Finally, the, the last thing I ordered is here. We did like an hour for this. The ube pie. Ube is purple yam. There you go. This so thing is jealous. piping hot. Mm. Loving this. The flavors, not overly sweet. Wonderfully smooth. It's like a subtle, creamy sweet potato. Bravo, Jolly Bee. This place, hands down, not even a question. So much better than McDonald's. From the rice dishes to the chicken to the hot dog. I don't even think McDonald's have garlic rice. And in this country, that just sounds civilized. So glad you guys keep telling me to come back and try this place. I absolutely loved it. And I'll pass the good advice on to you guys. If you are ever in the Philippines, you gotta try Jolly Bee out. And I know there's a couple of Jolly Bee locations in the US. I've never been there, so if you have, let me know in the comments, how, how is it compared to locations here? Also, if you love fun food t-shirts as much as I do, you know, everybody loves tofu fighting. My shirt store has a bunch of new fun designs, so check it out, it should be right below the video. The link is also in my description box below. And that's it for my review of McDonald's and Jolly Bee here in the Philippines. Let me know which place- Oh my goodness, he is amazing. I want to I want to interview this guy. I want to go to the Philippines and eat all of this food that he just ate. It looks so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry right now. I just, I'm so jealous. I am so jealous, guys. Have you ever been to Jollibee? Ha, ha, have you ever tried this this food at Jollibee before? Leave a comment below, and if you have, let me know the best thing to order and get at Jollibee. I am, I am dying to go to the Philippines now, or any place, and just try something good. I want to do a McDonald's taste food test and just eat everything, but wow. That McFlurry looks bomb. It looks so, 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 so good. Wow. Wow, guys. All right, guys. Make sure you check out Strictly Dumpling. His info is in my description. But make sure you give this a like. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for sharing my content. This is my vlog channel. Make sure you follow my main channel. I want my Lauren. Check me out everywhere. Special shout out to my Patreons of the month. You guys are amazing, 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 amazing. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. My Patreon of the of the day is... Who should I make the Patreon of the day? Ooh. Let's see. Who is it? Let's look. Let's look at who just did it. Patreon. Who just who just supported me? Ooh. His name is Andy Ryan. Thank you so much, Andy Ryan, for donating to my Patreon. You rock. You are the Patreon of the week. Yay! Patreon of the week. And yeah, guys, I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe.